WHAP WAP, where hits are played. Hosted by J. Chill Status Inc. Tonight's guest, Max Scott. Uh, what's going on, Max? Chilling, man. Got a beautiful day over here in sunny Santa Cruz, you know. Got my, you know, a day off from uh, from working, and I'm just focusing on the music today. Got an interview, man. It's a good blessed. Hey, so are you from Santa Cruz? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on with your music? What, what kind of music? What, what you got for us? Kind of music? So, um, you know, it's, uh, I would say, you know, it's underground hip-hop is, is my biggest influence. You know, I was influenced by a lot of the rhyme sayer stuff, Atmosphere, Brother Ali, so it's in that kind of vein, um, but live instruments, so, uh, yeah, man. I, oh, uh, live instruments. Okay. Yeah, I play, I do loop pedal stuff. So I have uh, piano, guitar, bass, beatbox, and I kind of put them all together. And uh, yeah, that's the deal. Go. So you're more of a musician? Would you say you're more of a musician or more of a lyricist or combo? Fine. You know, it, it all started with me um, with uh, guitar. So that's where, all, where it all started. And actually, punk rock music, that was my first, uh, my first love. And yeah. from there, in high school, I got into hip hop and MCing and, uh, playing drums and from there I kind of have merged the two worlds of playing instruments and being into hip hop and yeah trying to be eclectic with the kind of sounds I bring in we do a little reggae a little rock hey, so when you're when you're producing your tracks do you like do you like layer are you, are you doing it like a one man band thing like doing like you know like track one is are you on guitar track two is like you on bass kind of thing or are you playing with a yeah. group does it vary what's up yeah for, uh, so I have two parts I, I have a the Max Scott band which is uh, my brother is on percussion. One of my best friends is on guitar. So we got a little power trio. And um, nice. and we kind of, I, I jump from keys to guitar. He jumps from bass to guitar. And uh, so we're rocking that. And then on top of that, I got the loop pedal one man band thing. So our live shows okay. are kind of looking like, you know, a back and forth of those two uh, kind of mediums. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's good. It's, uh, you know, we just want to keep the audience on their on their heels a little bit, you know, not know exactly what's coming next. Do an acoustic track, do an electric yeah. guitar track. Track, you know, I like that. But, um, but the loop pedal stuff is really, uh, yeah, it's really my passion over these last That's couple years. Okay. I've really been locked in, you know, locked inside for for a year and a half straight. Damn near, I was able to really focus in on the uh, the loop pedal one man band stuff. So, would you say like that's your favorite part, like as far as like instruments or favorite part of production? That's where so that's where yeah, you're I would say yeah? yeah, I would I'd say that's what really sets the soul on fire when I'm able to okay. you know uh, put it all together. It's a real cool cool uh, medium for me. To, to harness my creativity. And how'd you how'd you even stumble upon that? How'd you find find that out? That was your thing. So you know, as a as a kid, I was I played multi multiple instruments um, in high school. You know, and so I found myself. Uh, I used to play the bass and the drums at the same time. Bass in one hand, drumstick in the other. And I started playing around with uh, also rapping while playing drums. Like started being interested in doing two things at once. And when I discovered loop pedal uh, performances. Um, um, this uh, woman, Tosh Sultana, Australian gal, um, Ed Sheeran was one of them. When I started seeing what they were doing, it all kind of clicked. Right? You know what? Exact that thing. That's how I. That's how I connected up. All right. So, what's the name of this project that you or your album? So, uh, under uh, Max Scott Music is my uh, Spotify and Scattered Thoughts, the mixtape I have out right now. It's a mix of uh, live loops, um, instrumentals that I produce on Ableton Live, and then uh, a couple comedy tracks too. I have a I have a character, Maxwell Country that I sometimes bring in kind of country kind of rap little comedy mixed in and so yeah you know try to have something for everybody I like that question when you do your live shows do you like I'm sure you play like your tracks you know things you've already produced but when you're up there do you do those shows because I've been to somewhere they're making like beats on the spot kind of thing do you do that yeah yeah that's As part of the, the show I yeah, like that I miss that those really I nice. really love those if there's people out there if you haven't checked those out those are really dope like when, when producers get up there and collab and then they just you know they remix the beat and it just kind of develops and grows and you're up there those are my favorite shows to go to yeah that's what's up yeah it brings it brings the audience on a journey yeah um, and the, and there's something about um, the way that the, the loops build on themselves that uh, 
can be mesmerizing to the to the audience member. Yeah. And so oh, uh, totally I exactly. noticed that from watching the shows myself, and I was like, oh, there's something really there. And uh, I think it can bring a presence to a crowd too, to so be mesmerized. So you know, half the battle in forming is science of listener attention. How do you get people to stay focused? And uh, so being able to build the loops, and then from there jump into the band thing, and maybe jumping into a solo acoustic thing. Uh, you know, science of listener attention. We're trying to just keep people uh, engaged. I like that. That's interesting. That's dope. Not everybody does yeah. that. So I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate that. A lot of people make music and record, but a lot, not too many people do that live, producing like in front of a live audience. And it's just, like you just said, it's a totally different energy. It really is. Yeah, no, I'm glad you dig it too. Yeah, it, it uh, seems to be a thing uh, that's here to stay. When's your next show? So um, we are going to be performing in Santa Cruz, um, not this coming Thursday, but next Thursday um, over in Santa Cruz, over downtown Santa Cruz at a place called the Top Spot uh, Pub and Kitchen. And yeah, we're going to be, uh, that's going to be kind of a regular thing we're going to be doing at that spot every couple Thursdays. And uh, from there on, um, we're hoping to get more and more shows going this summer. Uh, we got a, a manager named DJ Sin that just uh, came in and started helping us out. Um, Dollar Doses, he's uh, also involved in, in Dollar Doses, which is some of the best cannabis edibles you find out there. But yeah, he's helping us book some shows and you know Santa Cruz is a real cool little town with a lot of little pockets of venues um, creative people so we're excited for, uh, for the future <laughs> okay well, we're gonna get into this song what song would you like to hear um let's go you got All Out War on deck on oh, deck ready to win alright so this is uh yeah this is a, a beat I made all myself on the loop pedal um put it all together played all the instruments it's all me it's all my uh fingerprints on this bad boy alright and now for more music W-H-A-P Wow, when it's our play. What was all that for? Now that it's all... So tell us again where 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 is your, what was the name of that track and where are, where's your next show going to be at? All right, so that that track is called All Out, All Out War off of the uh, Scattered Thoughts mixtape Max Scott Music, where you can find that. And our, our show is going to be um, uh, Thursday, uh, not not this coming Thursday, but Thursday after that. So I don't have the date right in front of me, but um, and that's going to be at the Top Spot in Santa Cruz, Seven Eleven to the Gavin. Right. So you said um, you started with like punk rock music, then moved in during high school years into like hip hop. And then, you know, you play, you know, you like to lose beats, you like to make live beats, things like that. What are some of your, like, favorite musical influences? Like, if you was to play, what, what are some of the things you listen to? Um, so, some of my biggest hip-hop influences are, uh, it started with Nas. You know, I really, um, the first raps I ever learned were Nas, Nas lyrics, you know, reading out of the album uh, lyrics, just uh, really falling in love with the art form through that. And from there, in my high school days, uh, getting a little older, I started listening to a lot of uh, Living Legend, uh, Deltron, that kind of uh, atmosphere, Tribe Called Quest, you know, just kind of that underground hip-hop sound, Brother Ali, one of my favorites of all time. And so, uh, yeah, I would say, I'd say my biggest influences are probably Atmosphere, Brother Ali. Um, but, you know, I also grew up listening to a lot of classic rock, a lot of Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. So, okay. so I have a pretty, yeah, pretty eclectic mix of uh, sounds. That's dope. That makes for a good sound. I can yeah, already yeah, tell. I can already tell. It's a, yeah, I can already tell you like you like music, you like the sound of music. I get that vibe. No doubt, no doubt. What are yeah. some of your favorite tracks? Like if we were to get in your car, like name just just it, they don't have to be your favorite. They ain't got to be the most popular. But what are some go to tracks that you go to when you're doing your creative mm -hmm. thing? You know, MG. Uh, I, I've been digging the new MGK album. I like I like the way he's mixing up this punk rock and this hip hop vibe. Um, Mac Miller, Good News. I was stuck on that song for a long time. Uh, sometimes I have to get back into that feel feel that Mac Miller vibe. Um, Okay. Radiohead, Karma Police. Oh, I like Radiohead, too. Yeah, definitely about creative people. Yeah, totally. Different sounds. And their videos, too. Their visuals, something else. Yeah, no, definitely. But yeah, they're outside the box. And I, I yeah, think uh, I, like that. I, I aspire to do the same. <laughs> I like that. I like the I like the I like the creativity that comes out of like Santa Cruz and Sonoma when it comes to like visuals and things like that. That you know, I just I mean, it's a blessing to be in this medium because some things just so unheard of. But you know, through KPFA, it's just like this, I just I just love it. And look, I love I love the other parts of the bay because you know we have like the main parts of the city or the city vibe, city life that gets highlighted. But then when you go push a little further out, go further up north, go further down by the coast, it's like there's these other sounds that are just so different. Yeah, so right on. No. 
Yeah, yeah, very cool Bay Area, man. It's the best place on earth. Um, no doubt about it. So yeah. What about um? Yeah, what about it. contact? If people wanted to contact you to collab to work with you, just hook up with you. What? Yeah. What, how do they get in touch with you? All right. So Max got music is uh that's the name on pretty much all the platforms. You know, uh, Instagram is probably best way to get to get a hold of me. Uh, hit me on the IG DM. I'll get back. Um, and yeah, Max got music on Spotify. That's where uh, you find my uh, mixtape. Also Apple Music, all that. And yeah, man, we're we're uh, we're starting our musical journey. You know, I've been working hard over the last uh, couple years, and you know, before that whole lifetime of really dabbling, but I really started taking it seriously over the last three, four years. And we're starting to get shows. We're gonna start putting out music, and and uh, yeah, we're excited about the future. Now, what's the name of your project again? Of your album? Scattered thoughts. Scattered thoughts, and they can find it on Spotify, all platforms. But Spotify is like first, right? Main platform people go to. Uh, that's the go-to. That's the that's the number one. Let's be real. What What are some of your own favorite tracks that you've done of yourself? What What are your favorites of yourself? Um, All Out War and Chasing a Ghost on, on Scattered Thoughts probably the two ones that I um, am most uh, yeah have the deepest connection to. Are there any um, artists off the top of your head that you'd like to work with, Bay Area or otherwise? Good question. Um, I really like to work with this group, The Head and the Heart. They're they're a folk group that I've I've listened to for a long time, and I I uh, I dabble with a similar kind of music to that. Um, and I would love to work with Brother Ali. That would be a dream come true. Okay, well, you gotta put it into the universe. You know, <laughs> you gotta put it out there, yeah. and nobody's gonna know. So true. Manifest it. I believe. And now, is there anything production wise that you haven't done yet? Because you know, I, lo- I love the uh, the angle that you're coming from because it is rare and it's dope. I-, I love it. I appreciate the artistry in it. But is there anything that you like haven't done, be there be it through audio or visual, that you like would like to tap into either now or sooner or later? Yeah. Um, you know, I never got into wind and uh, it's always a thing that I eventually want to, you know, dabble in. Maybe a little sax, maybe a little trump and I haven't decided which one, but uh, yeah, I think there's something waiting there for me. And when you say that, what, what comes to mind? Like, what are, what is the music that has made you think of that? What, what are some tracks or artists or a sound bite or, you know, what takes you there? Yeah, you know, well, I um, I grew up listening to a lot of ska music, you know, hip-hop ska, so I, you know, those big horn kind of uh, bands, but also, you know, the, I'm definitely drawn to the jazz trumpet. Mm. So, okay. yeah, I think uh, I think that'd be cool. I like it. I'm really digging your music, music artistry. I really am. I, I can I just know it's a whole different sound. Yeah, you know, it's a gift. Music is, uh, it calms even the savage beast, they say. And how about your, your handle once again? On Instagram, they can find you at where? That is Max Scott Music. Max as in Maximus, are you not entertained? Scott <laughs> as in Scotty Boy Entertainment. <laughs> music as in thing you all love to listen. I'll continue with no underscores or nothing? Nope. I'm the you only Max Scott Music out okay, there. Good. I, I bought I bought all the other Max Garments. I paid them all off. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Soul proprietor. Right yeah. And then how about yeah. the creativity? Yeah. Like, do you go because you're over there by the water? You know, Santa Cruz. When you say Santa Cruz, you know, I'm from the city. I'm from Oakland, California. We think we hear Santa Cruz. We think Santa Cruz Beach. We think the water. You know, do you go out? Do you go out there to get like some of your like influence? You know, where your creative influence, or are you more indoor, or what's up? Yeah, um, both, both. I was just at beach last night, right? And so you know, at least a couple times a week I'm over I'm over either on the cliffs or at the beach pad out and uh, yeah it's a huge you know huge inspiration and just a calming connection right on right on it adds a different yeah, flavor definitely. to it right yeah no great question no it, it is um, no it definitely it's not something I think about that much of how you know that, that goes into the whole thing but there's oh, no doubt about thing. it that it does I think that's why also when you do those shows like when you can produce in front of an, a live audience because I've been there and let me tell you like even shows that I've been to like one that's in my head particularly is like from like 2006 out 2007 and it was like you know just stumbled on it it's in a warehouse and it was like you know there's like they had the pro tools set up on the big screen in the front and then you know I'm asking people I'm like what's going on you know and then they're like oh you know you see one guy go up there and he just lays down like a, like a kick somebody else goes in and he lays down like a riff somebody else goes and he just kind of lays down another some snares and you know and it just turns into this thing and it's like you know like no one's really prompted to go up there it's kind of just like when you feel feel it and then you know you're influenced kind of by the and energy is a real thing so then you're influenced by the energy in the room so I think that's why people if some people write better in their car some people better um, driving some people better in 
you know, solitude in the dark space, in the red space, um, over by the beach on a mountain. So, you know, like, and then California is one of those places that it's got all of these different, different attributes and these different types of spaces within, within a space. So, you know, and it's like Santa Cruz ain't yeah. that far from mm-hmm. California, but I'm telling you, like, you know, being how I was raised, like, just straight, you know, Fruitvale, East Oakland, our world can be so small and things can be so near. And, you know, we can, you know, we, we have so much creative influence here, but if we tap into the things around us, you know, it's just, it's a different thing. So, you know, definitely hit record when you're out there in your lifestyles. Yeah. You, you'll never Appreciate know what you come home with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're excited about, uh, we're, we're in particularly excited, excited about the, the live shows. We're, uh, we're working on an EP as well, and that's going to be coming out. Uh, we're going to be releasing a single from it pretty soon. Coming out probably sometime in the summer, but uh, but performing live is our real passion. Yeah. That's yeah. one of your shows. We'll have what we know, the crew. So we, 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 like, we have to do retreats. And I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of retreats. <laughs> our crew needs to do some, so we can do some retreats and go out there and see some of these acts that, that we tell our people yeah. to go listen to. Well, they, they got an ayahuasca retreat, Santa Cruz, so maybe you could do a one-stop little uh, shop, you know, do your ayahuasca and come see the Max Cow family. So, I'm, I'm going to hit you up about that. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh-huh. Oh, no, it's been a pleasure having you. Hey, yeah. appreciate that. It's been a blast. Yeah, thanks for putting me on, guys. Add on. It's all love. They love. It's a real, it's yeah, a real well, thing. Absolutely. I can feel it.
switching this Soon with a bed, tight bridges. Made the book on flight, I'm tight bitches. 